So did you, when you, you tell me you were doing your Oikos resources, Oikos curriculum and being at home all the years from age eight, um, continued with your studies all the way through, is that correct? You didn't go and uh, back into the school system perhaps to get a matric or anything like that? What happened? Um, no, I haven't actually got a metric. I haven't quite finished my schoolwork either, it's, which is, it's been nice to go at my own pace to, um, I've probably been going slower than I can. I've, I've become a bit lazy, having, not having that work behind me to push me on, which can be a bit of a pullback, but it's also, it's given me the chance to be prepared for adult life. It's, I, I look at a lot of people, they go in to school and to varsity, and they're probably not ready for it. It's, so I've, I'm quite happy with, with where I am working part-time. So what are you currently doing now with regard to work? So currently I am a programmer in Belleville. I've been doing it for about 10 months now. Um, How did that happen? Um, so I decided I'd look, see what sort of jobs there were in Cape Town with, in relationship with programming, mm -hmm. specifically C++, which is the only language I really wanted to work in. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't finding anything until I found there was a trainee position on Gumtree. They, they said trainee, but the salary didn't look as a salary for a trainee, so I inquired and they asked for my CV actually. Mm -hmm. um, I got an interview and I got hired. It was, I can't think of it being other, anything other than God's hand just giving me a job there. Okay, but how did you give them a CV? What did you do um, to put that together? So when they asked me for my CV, I, I pretty much collected the information I did have on my schoolwork. So. I uh, went through the tests I had done, which come in the curriculum, and I got the average percentages, and that was my CV up till about grade 11. So you took your Oikos resources Oikos and resources. all the different um, tests you had done throughout w within the program, like the maths and the science and the language and what have you, and you just put your averages together and took that along with you. Is that what you did? That's what I did, That's and hmm. of course added my, my mother encouraged adding information about the um, youth, uh, youth leadership roles we'd been involved with, music mm -hmm. lessons and such. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you just put your life experience up to that point, your yes. academics as well as your, your other, everything, everything you'd done. That was good that your so, mom encouraged yeah. you to add. <laughs> and including part-time working for my dad, actually. So. Oh, okay. That was also good training right yeah. there. Okay, so now you're doing this programming, and as you say, they hired you <laughs> to do it, and you, you feel it was just God's hand operating in that situation. You're enjoying it. I am very much. It's uh, programming, I actually, it was kind of my dream that I thought would never come true. I'd been teaching myself programming with the spare time I had when I didn't get into trouble for spending too much time on the computer. Yeah. <laughs> and that was pretty much my experience with programming for getting into the job. It was sure. And, so. and now, um, you see yourself going forward in that? Um, yes, I've actually received um, good feedback from my boss relating to that, so I would like to finish my work so that I can go further in that, in that field. In that field. Now that you're in the workplace, do you feel, as a young man, that you've been equipped and prepared and made ready for this big world? One of people's concerns about home education is oh, the children, their children aren't going to be made ready because they're not, they don't see them as being part of society and in the world and being ready and prepared for adult life. What is your response to that? Um, I would say being, being ready for adult life depends actually a lot on the people you spend the time with. It's, you can, we spent a lot of time with adults at church, so mm -hmm. it, we, you learn from different places to be ready for adult life. It's not something you can only get from schools or varsities. It mm -hmm. can come even from not doing much. I'm not the most social person. And I'm still, I feel I've been equipped from, by my parents and by the young adults that we've been blessed to be friends with. So, mm -hmm. so now in the workplace, are you feeling, are you coping? Yes, I am. It's um, fairly yes. comfort, comfortable. Mm -hmm. I've actually found a lot of the, um, specifically in programming, the, a lot of what you have to do is similar to how you study in homeschooling. So... A lot of us do, we do our own studies when we need to, 
when we need to implement something, we've got to do the re a lot of the research sometimes to get something working. So oh, really helps. So that's interesting. So at home, the, the, your learning environment at home is just, this is like an extension of that in yes. the adult world. And you, that's why you feel equipped. You're actually saying you feel equipped to do what is required of you in the adult world. Yes, I do, yes. yes. It's, it's, I find being equipped for my job in the programming, it came largely from that not everything was necessarily handed to me in a way that they do at school sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, I actually helped a friend with his projects in programming at school and it's mm -hmm. different compared to how you work in the workplace where not everything's fed to you. You've got to learn to do your research yourself mm -hmm. and implement what you found out. Um, I've been very encouraged to do, to do my work to achieve the best I can through home, home education, we, we aren't limited to subjects they provide at schools. We, can, we learn to do our education outside on our own. And I find that particularly encouraging that we can achieve things that we maybe never thought we would be able to. And the only limitation is really what we limit ourselves to.